everyone sorry about the lighting situ i i'm filming again on saturday morning and the sun is on that side so i had to draw the curtain to give ourselves a little bit of space here so today i want to do one of those videos that um, is not too fun but i think it's very necessary in the sense that um, when you use pencils you do need a good um, sharpener so this year I have really discovered colored pencils and also watercolor pencils and pastel pencils and I love incorporating them with my watercolors and they sort of go hand in hand for me and I use them on a regular basis now so having said that, um, I very quickly realized that a good quality pencil requires a good quality sharpener. So I want to walk you through my sharpeners. Um, there are a couple of sharpeners that I got new. Um, so these two, and then there were a couple of sharpeners which I already had. Um, and I will show you. Actually, I need an X-Acto knife as well. So... There was a sharpener that I bought a while ago, um, this Kum sharpener. I saw it um, on Theo's um, um, YouTube video and or YouTube channel and he made a video reviewing this sharpener and it looked really good to me so I purchased it but um, honestly I haven't used it that much so I thought it might be quite useful for you to see how this thing works because um yeah it's it's meant to be quite good but for some reason i'm not really getting on with it apart from this comb sharpener i also had this kind of um artisan way uh, of um sharpening pencils this is more for a graphite than color pencils although i have heard that you can sharpen a tip of the um color pencils as well so I wouldn't necessarily recommending um, cutting it with the exacto knife but I would um, well I wouldn't recommend because I haven't tried it but I have heard that people do use to sharpen up just the very tip to get to a very precise tip so you can do that if you for example didn't want to waste any of this um, wood and um, or for that matter, when you're sharpening to get to the point, you usually waste quite a bit on this side. Um, here you just would concentrate, I guess, on the tip. Um, I don't know, I haven't tried it. So the other um, sharpener had just a regular one, um, generic sharpener, but it's actually, although it's you know quite affordable and it's not the top quality, it's actually, it does the job and um, it does it well, not fantastically so, but it does it quite good. So the final thing I had is this Faber-Castell sharpener which I bought ages ago and it's basically, um, um, it has a compartment here so the shavings are gathered in here which is quite useful and um, there is a color grip and universal which is basically like that so for a thicker pencil and a thinner pencil and then the two new ones I added are both by Kum. So this is the 100 year anniversary Kum. And then another by Kum. This is the brass bullet um, one. And out of all of them, actually, this one is my favorite. It does the job very, very well. I sharpened the other day all of my 50 pencils just with this little guy. Um, it gives the perfect um, tip. It works beautifully on colored pencils um, and yeah, it's just um, really, really fun. Also, while we are at it, we I will mention that uh, there is such thing as extended point. Uh, you can get really extreme extended point sharpeners. Um, I personally like the middle ground, so I don't like the generic sharpening. Um, and I don't like too long, but I really, really like sort of these still extended from the normal um, pencil. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you the differences. And I guess I will start by doing this. So let me just demo. So this is like an artisan way 
of sharpening your pencils. By the way, I am struggling to find non-sharpened pencils at the moment in my studio because I am so obsessed with sharpening all of my pencils that pretty much, except for, um, there's three sets that I need to sharpen, but they're all in their kind of tints and stuff. But all the other pencils on my desk are perfectly sharpened because I now cannot have like a blunt point pencil. I absolutely love them to be, oh, there's another one I should include. I absolutely love them having a, a point. So, um, look, <laughs> colors go with colors. So let's go with this one. Okay, so let's start the this way. So basically, you need a nice um, X-Acto knives. These are very sharp, but here's the way you do this. So you hold the X-Acto knife like that. Make sure you're holding with your thumb running where the blade is and then you hold the pencil like this. So what you're going to do now is you're going to use the pressure of the left thumb or depending which hand is your active. So I am um, I am right handed so that's why I've got the knife in this hand. So obviously if you are left handed then that must be the other way around. So then I'm going to use the pressure of my left thumb to press and I'm extending as you can see I'm starting here and I am extending the wood so the angle you should go for is kind of laying it down almost flat and what this does is first you are taking off more of the wood and then you'll start exposing the graphite more as well naturally. Take your time doing this because if you're not seasoned in this uh, you will find it a little bit challenging to begin with because you need to get the feeling for it and then once you have done it a few times you can see now I'm exposing the graphite here you'll find it easier and um, Try not to rush into it, basically. So, um, I'm not fantastic at this, but I can do it okay, I guess. So I'm just going to extend the wood a little bit more as well, just to go in line with the extended tip. Otherwise, it looks a little bit odd. It's quite nice because you have the con control over doing this. Okay, I'll leave it at that. So what we have now is actually, let me just get rid of this bit of wood. So now you have this sort of tip and what you could do is you could further uh, shave the graphite with the X-Acto knife, but I find the better thing to do is use one of those. Actually, I'm going to remove, this is how it comes. So it comes with the protective blue paper here uh, on both sides and then you can remove it um, and then the sandpaper that's attached here is also cut in in the middle so you can just use one half of it and there are quite a few sheets so it will last you a good time so what you're going to do now is you're going to like you know when you're sharpening knives that sort of similar um, motion and there you go you go to a nice I hope you can see it to a very nice sharp point and um, this is like extremely sharp so if you wanted to flatten the sides of it you can do that just on the very edge there you go so that's like, like I said, the artisan way of doing things. This works really, really well for um, graphite. Now, let me actually try, because I heard you can do it on the colored pencils as well. So this particular one that I'm trying to sharpen is a watercolor pencil. So I'm rotating. Yeah, no, that works really well as well. 
So if you wanted to quickly do that just on the tip without sharpening it, you could do it. You can see here it's very sharp now as well. Um, I think I might just use a regular sharpener to be honest with you, but that's that's an option as well. So that's the way to do it with an exacto knife and one of those um, boards. I'll try to link everything down below. I got this one. It's a couple of pounds. It's not expensive. You can see it's just the wooden panel with some sandpaper and a little bit of uh, sponge attached um, for getting rid of the excess graphite. Um, yeah, but it's quite a messy job, so be warned. I'm going to go wash my hands quickly. Okie dokie. So, um, let's look now into all of these. So, um, this is just a generic one, so there's no need for me to demonstrate anything. Um, it doesn't give you an extended point. All it does is just, you know, the regular job. So, um, actually, what I wanted to do is I wanted someone a while ago asked me how to sharpen these um, pastel pencils and pastel pencils are basically like sort of chalk type of a um, crayon I guess in the form of a pencil so you have more control with it and that means that you want them to be sharp um, for detailing so the way I sharpen is just use the thick or the the wider part and that's it Okay, so this one didn't work. The one that does work is this one because I've used it. So the Faber Castell, there we go, we get to a beautiful long point. And um, well, it's not, this is a regular point, so I meant to a sharp point. Um, this is exactly how you want your pastel pencils to be. So you can see this is a blunt point and here is a nice sharp so I could create details with it. So that's that. So this one didn't work for it. So this is definitely good for um, pastel pencils. Also I have other pencils which seem a little bit on a thick side. I don't know what it is. I mean looking at them side by side they look the same but Sometimes they're just like, for instance, this one seems, yeah, so this one doesn't work in the regular, in the color it doesn't work, so I would probably go into here as well. There we go. So let me show you now a difference between a regular point and an extended point. So I do have this pencil here. So this pencil, let me just sharpen it up again. I sharpened in this brass. Oh yeah. So what I love about this little guy, it looks so unpretentious. It's so tiny. When I was ordering it, I wasn't even sure it's going to work very well. I didn't see any reviews beforehand. I just love the look of it. I thought it kind of has this cool bullet look and it's really, really heavy as well. Um, so here is what it does. Can you see the difference? So this is super extended and long and this is just like a regular point. So that's the difference. And this little guy, I haven't had any problems with any type of a colored pencil at all. Whereas some of the other sharpeners, it just doesn't work. Um, so yeah, so this is, the color grip is great for the polychromos. So it just gives you, again, a regular point. But I could take that point, and again, let me just show you. So this is the regular one. Let me see what we can get with this one. And here is the extended. So again, the difference there. Trying to see what's the best way of showing you. So that's again the difference here. And then let's do, I think this is already, yes, yeah, so I sharpened this one with that sharpener and I've got this pencil here so let's try it with the regular one. 
and there we go again same thing so you can see there is a difference of about I'd say two millimeters if you need to know precision wise but like really precise two to three millimeters I'd say let's see here it's almost feels bigger yeah here is like three to four um, so that's the difference you get here and I wanted to demonstrate that this actually works on every pencil so this is now so we tried the polychromos, we tried the Holbein, and we tried the Derwent drawing pencil. Now let's see, this is the Carandash Museum Aquarelle, so it's a watercolor pencil. And from what I remember, it works just perfectly fine with this one. Yeah, it works well. I find that those pencils that have a bit of a ridge, they sometimes get a bit of scratching here. The round ones don't get that, so that's something to keep in mind, but it does do the job. Um, the other pencil we have here is the Derwent Graph Tint, or Graphite Tint, so let's see if that works. Yeah, that works perfectly fine, so it works best on a round pencil, and it could be any pencil really. Uh, this is going to be too thick which is the pastel pencil so it's not going to fit in there um, and then let's see this one this is the irrigitan pencil which feels a little bit thinner than others so that's what it sharpens to and then we have the Faber-Castell watercolor pencils. Yeah, that works as well. Um, let's see, just like a regular pencil. If that's going to work. Yes, yeah, so with the regular pencil, it doesn't give you a long tip for some reason. Don't know what the difference here is, but it just kind of looks regular. And yeah, so everything seems to work absolutely fine. Round the pencils better than the pencils with this. Um, like, you know, the ridges. Um, okay, so this one is just a regular, normal kind of sharpening. Very similar to this one or that one. It has only one size and it's just more of a, you know, thing to keep on my desk. Um, it doesn't give me the extended tip but if I want to grab something quickly for a regular tip and have a little bottle of shavings sitting there I think it's kind of more of a visual aspect than anything else then I like using this one um, the final one I want to talk about is this pencil which um, like I said I had a bit of a struggle so what this is is it it has um, four sharpeners which is two for the same purpose as in for the pencil but one is used to shave the wood and then you go to, onto the number two which is above it and that shaves it slightly further but mostly it extends the tip uh, which I will show you in a minute and then you have two graphite tips um, sharpeners so if you have those thin graphite um, bits like this but obviously thinner then you can totally um, sharpen them in these two openings here which you can see they're basically looking like that just notice there is something oh there are some spare um, blades in here to replace these ones so that's that's quite good um, okay so let's go for a regular pencil here so we're going to start with a one and I'm going to bring it up a bit closer so hopefully you can see what's going on. So as you can see it's shaving. You will hear it like now. It's not shaving anymore, it's just rotating. If there is no more grip last uh, left then you're going to pull it out and you can see already it's like 
very long compared to how it was before. And then go into the number two, and you can see there's tiny little bit of the wood shavings, but mostly it was the graphite that was kind of this bit was shaved to perfection. So it's super, super pointy and quite a bit extended. Now this works good for graphite pencils, not so much for regular pencils. So let me grab a couple other pencils. So I tried it on the polychromos. It didn't work, I'll show you. And I'll, I wanna try it on this one, which is a thinner pencil. I wonder if that will make any difference. Now actually, I don't want to waste um, too much of the um, um, pigment here, but I will show you in this pencil because this is the one I've done. Can you see how it sort of has extended it? Where is that pencil here? Um, but the tip of it has not been sharpened and that's the problem I run into. So if I try it here now, you can see what happens. It does that. And then if I go into the number two, it basically doesn't get to the tip of the um, pigment here of the lead, so it kind of leaves it quite blunt. There you go, you can see it. You can see it now. So that doesn't work, but if I go into my bullet, I first need to get rid of quite a bit of that, and then I get the very you know, sharp point, and yes, not too much of the extended bit as it was from this one, but there is no point of doing that if you're going to have a blunt point, right? So basically, um, for me personally, this little guy works for everything. Okay, I wanna try the irrigitin because it's just, let me just empty this mess. Um, because it's a thinner pencil, so I don't know whether that has anything to do with it. It feels like it's a little bit thinner, but I might be wrong. Um, so let's try it. I'm going to go into the number one. As you can see, a lot of wood is being shaved. Now it's just rotating. And then we're going to go into number two. Hoping to get a sharp tip and something tells me, no, it's not working. And also it kind of gives this indentation here at the bottom. So you can see that quite blunt point compared to a nice sharp point we got here. So let's go again into this sharpener. It makes me cringe watching all this pencil being wasted, but I thought this video is really, really useful and um, I'll do it for you. <laughs> Sacrifice my pencils. Um, there you go, so nice and sharp and absolutely fine. So yeah, this comb, I mean, it sort of works for graphite pencils. I'm not sure what I really wanted this thin point because that's just gonna break. Uh, but if I did want like this, you know, ultimate precision, then I guess this would be great for this purpose. I wonder if I could stick this one into here now. No, it's still not long enough needs to be longer I guess to go all the way in there all right so I hope you found this somewhat useful and I will probably go ahead and sharpen my all of my irrigitin pencils and a couple of the other sets I think yeah the graphite and and the drawing pencils they all need sharpening it's so therapeutic to just sit there and sharpen them so yes, okay, thanks for watching and see you soon.